Hello everyone, I'm Don the Crown here, and today I want to talk about the balance of Season 6. Now, I think everyone obviously knows that Spiritborn is heads and tails and shoulders and everything way above all of the other classes right now. They just have so many bugs, they're giving it so much damage. Let's talk about the rest of the classes. What do you think right now is the number two class on the pit leaderboards here? And what do you think is the final class, the number six class on the pit leaderboards? I'll give you a moment. You can just pause the video if you want. You can comment down below who you think is number two and who you think is number six. And the answer might surprise you. Okay, well, right now, as we can see here, Spiritborn obviously pit 150. Uh, number one, they're clearing it like eight minutes on the very best run here. This guy's doing something a little bit interesting with Mystic Circles. But what is the second place class? So previously, when the game was going to launch, Pit 100 was going to be the cap. That was going to be the highest the Pit was going to be. There are a couple of classes that are able to clear this, pretty much all of them. But the second place class right now is actually, surprisingly, Necromancer. So Necromancer is the second place class, and right now it seems like what they are playing and pushing with the pit here is like a Blood Wave Blood Lance build. Now, this is helltides.com slash pit. I'll put a link to this in the description down below. They have a leaderboard where you're able to see like what some of the best times are. And if you record your own run and put it up somewhere uh, public where they can you know, verify it for you, you can even get your build and run on here. So I can even just like go and play this guy's run here from Ranny L and see exactly what he's doing. You can see his Necro Spirit Wave here, and he's just clearing through with this kind of stuff, doing Pit 110, shooting out all sorts of Blood Waves, doing tons of damage, and you see a whole bunch of like Spirit uh, Bomb things going off here. And I can even see the character planner that this guy has provided as well. I was kind of surprised to see that the Necromancer was that high up. This is pretty uh, high up in terms of the pit and doing pretty well compared to all the other classes. And then looking at the other classes here on the leaderboards, you can see some additional builds that are a little bit different with like Bone Prison coming in here, Bone Spirit actually being on there. Even this guy's got Sever. There's quite a bit of variety and different things to be played with, even like the top pit 90 or something. I feel like Pit 90 is pretty respectable for a build right now. Uh, getting up to Pit 100 was going to kind of be the cap, the end game for the season. Uh, they added, you know, additionally 50 more levels. And although levels 37, 137 through 150 are having less boss HP than were expected. So kind of why we see that the Spirit Board is pushing so high up uh, is because of those changes. But uh, yeah, so the Necromancer is number two. Coming in at number three, we have the Barbarian. Now, in my chat, I keep hearing about how the fact that the Barbarian is doing really, really poorly. It's super far behind. But as we can see here, our boy Beat Dropper is dropping a fat uh, 109 pit right now in 14 minutes. And it looks like all of these guys, for the most part, are playing Mighty Throw, with the exception of one Whirlwind Dune here at pit 88. And uh, this build is pretty much, I think, just the like the mighty throw end game barbarian build that you find on max roll. And we can even like go and kind of like watch through the playthrough here a little bit. And we're gonna see that it's a lot of orange numbers. This looks like to me a lot like the orange eagle setup, where just basically all orange numbers, which is pretty exciting to see. Uh, so much you know number spam here. I don't know why it doesn't turn this off for a push. But, uh, you know, kind of is what it is. Now, after the Barbarian, we have next the Rogue. Uh, Rogue, I think, previously was actually below Pit 100. But this guy managed to put up a 101 pretty recently here. And obviously, we're not seeing a lot of Barbarians, a lot of Rogues. Pretty much everybody's playing Spirit Board right now. But this guy is playing a Rapid Fire build. And he has an insane uh, Rank 26 Rapid Fire going on here. So it seems like this build is just all about blasting that out with Sky Hunter, making it so that the skill gets more damage. And he's probably doing like some sort of like Heart Seeker three times or four times, and then blopping off with a gigantic rapid fire that's just doing and tons and tons of damage, uh, which is just pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to see Rogue up here. I was a little bit surprised to see that we're seeing rapid fire 
Twisting Blades, uh, Barrage, all up here and not really seeing Dance of Knives like up in the 80s or 90s. I'm not necessarily sure if they like kind of nerfed the build a little bit too hard or something for what we had in the PTR because the Dance of Knives build was absolutely insane. But it's pretty exciting to see that there's quite a bit of variety of builds right now for rogues that are kind of doing okay. Now, next up after the rogue, we have Roxy coming in with the Sorcerer. Now, Roxy is kind of a legend in the Sorcerer community. She's always pushing up the pit leaderboard. So pretty exciting here to see her putting out a fireball time here of 11.55 on pit 101. And uh, if you look at like the other people that are put up times here, there's not really fireball anywhere. Most of this, I believe, is going to be uh, trying to do like lightning spear and, you know, conjuration stuff. Whereas the fireball build here, you can go and check out her build on the Mobilitics website here. The Rocks Omnium has a whole bunch of uniques using Vox Omnium, using the Gloves of the Illuminator. And uh, it seems pretty neat. Definitely something that's a little bit different than a normal fireball build, what I would expect or anything like that. And so as we can see here, she's shooting off a whole bunch of extra shots with Vox Omnium and bouncing uh, you know, tons of fireballs everywhere. And it just seems like a pretty cool build and does seem like Sorcerer does have at least two options that are really bopping in the end game. Now, if you've been counting, you know that that means that the final class here is Druid. And Druid's pulling up only at tier 97, making them kind of the weakest out of all of the classes here. This is not really all that much of a difference. And really with the limited amount of people that are submitting their times on helltides.com, uh, you know, there definitely could be possible somebody out there doing a lot better than this. But it seems like most people are playing some variant of Shred right now. And maybe some of these other guys are doing like a landslide build as well. And uh, yeah, Druid, I think could potentially need use a little bit of love uh spirit born kind of stealing all the spirit from this guy but uh yeah if we look at the final times up here we have spirit born all the way up at 150 this is probably going to drop way down once the spirit born uh, bug fixes kind of go in whether that's going to be mid-season or the next season uh necromancer at 110 barbarian at 109 rogue at 101 Sorcerer also at 101, and then Druid not that far behind at 97. Now, uh, definitely really interesting to see, especially with like the Sorcerer builds. There's like almost nobody playing the number one build right now as other people try to like mess around with it and try to optimize to see if some people bop in there. I would also be pretty interested to go through this Spiritborn list and see who isn't using Quill Volley. I'm doing a Scourge build right now that I think could probably do Pit 100 once I actually get my butt off the off the couch and start doing my master working because pretty much none of my gears max out on master working. But uh, that, definitely a lot of variety, a lot of builds out there you can check out. If you are someone who's pushing the pit, you want to get your name up here on the leaderboards, go to helltides.com slash pit. And you can just look at the frequently asked questions here about how to submit your run. It needs to be a full pit run. Quality needs to be good enough to read the text. And the video must not be private. You can just have it unlisted if you don't want to like promote it or something. Let me know what you guys think about this type of video, talking about the meta and just seeing like what's out there. Is this something that I should continue to do or is it something that you don't care about at all? We'll see you guys again soon. Later.